channel this video is basically the Bali trip that I went around five months back right now we are all in the coronavirus lockdown situation I'm quite sure that all of us are missing traveling a lot and so am I so I thought why not take all these footages and try to make something interesting with them when I went to the trip I was actually not active on YouTube so I did not take all these footages with the intention of like making a proper vlog but I'll try to edit it in such a way that it looks like that I'm kind of thankful that it was a family trip now because I got to go to a lot of places we went via a travel agency called Travel Triangle so you can look that up if you want before we get started I would really like you to go down and subscribe a long long hours of being in the flight we finally finally reached our hotel this is the Vasanti Kuta which is obviously nearby the Kuta beach so that is also going to be the first and only place we'll be going to today because it is already 3 p.m. and we are all ready we'll just have our lunch and go this is our pretty little hotel room at the Vasanti Kuta and I'll also show you guys the view outside so from my understanding, Kuta, Seminyak, etc. These places are basically the city areas of Bali and we are staying in the Kuta area for the first three days. This is the beautiful view from our balcony. We came out to eat at some place. Let's check this out. All of the houses that we've seen up till now is decorated like this. So I'm assuming it has something to do with their culture. This is probably the Balinese infrastructure. So cool and interesting, right? Also, Plumeria flower is apparently their cultural flower. It's also called Firanji Pani and you will find it everywhere in Bali on the street side. Lunch is done, now we are on our way to the Kuta beach. Also I'm guessing there must be an insane number of good looking beach resorts in here like this one. We have actually come to see the sunset. Hi there, so it's a new day, it's day 2 and we are heading to the beach again. This is something I bought from a store near our hotel. I paired it with my shell jewellery. going to take this boat ride now. why we've been coming to eat since the last two days the thing is that Indian hotels in here are kind of expensive you go for like Indonesian food or any other cuisine you might not have to pay as much then we were headed to the Uluwatu temple according to our itinerary for the day and if I forgot to mention, Bali is 90% Hindu and no gender is allowed to wear short outfits inside the temple so they'll provide sarongs right outside. The monkey snatch away things here like they snatched my earring. <laughs> <laughs> monkey 
he has taken away his cap and won't return it. <laughs> Now with the sunset we'll be watching the Ketchak fire dance which is basically Ramayana but in Balmese style Indeed a beautiful cultural experience Last thing on our itinerary today it's a dinner by the beach on candlelight This is my favorite area of our hotel. It's got a bar and a pool in the terrace. Today, by the way, we are headed to do a little bit of local marketing. You know, souvenirs and all that that you can take back, which have Bali written all over them. Very, very touristy, by the way. Basically, a jewelry store, which is their local highlight. It's in Denpasar. It's called UC Silver and Gold. For obvious reasons, camera wasn't allowed inside. However, I got a little peek. Also, got myself a cute little silver ring. Those stunning pictures of people sitting in Bali's swings and nests. Now you know how. <laughs> That heart shaped nest down there, that is how you get a perfect Bali picture. Now we are on to a tour of the famous Bali coffee plantation. Uh, this is kind of cat, but this is a uh, wild animal. Uh, so the poop from that animal that we are collected, we are using it for the Luwak coffee. Hey guys, meet Luwak. He shits the most expensive coffee on earth. What a handsome little majestic boy, isn't it? You can basically have an authentic experience, watch, learn and then buy coffee from here. These are sweet or? Uh, lemon grassy sweet. Sweet. Ah, taste karo na. It's turning dark and we are headed to our new resort in Ubud area. On a stunning orange garden on the way and we had to stop. finally reached the Vrindavan Villa Ubud which is basically our resort for the next coming days. We have booked two villas. This is basically my parents villa. Our one is exactly the same one that is the right next one to it where me and my brother will be sharing. This one is decorated a little honeymoon-ish for them by the way. All of them actually have a private pool. Excuse the decoration, the bed by the way. So it's a glass room and it's only covered with curtains. I can't wait for the morning. I really need to wash my face. We have come back after a really long day. In this restaurant, the Sari Mountain View, you get to eat with a view of the volcano. Is it visible right now? I guess. Even though it is in Bali, it's a chilly place because it's like um, 13 to 14 kilometers up from Bali. Just 13 to 14 kilometers drive downwards. It's tropical and here it is chilly. So that's kind of weird. I've never seen something like this. And now it is time for some river rafting adventure.
So today we have long visit about uh, 10 kilometers. Okay. Let's spend time. Then our captain taught us a little bit of the basics of river rafting, how to row with side to row, etc. Also, he told us not to take out the cameras and only to take it out in the very still areas because we need all our hands to catch the boat. Now we'll be picked up and dropped at the airport because it's our last day. Yes, we'll have our lunch and then we'll be off. We have had some wonderful memories at this beautiful tropical paradise of Bali. And if you like the video, then please make sure to drop a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.